Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition. Let's go ahead and create our party. We've got uh, Ald, Paladin, Lawful Good, Strength 18, zero, zero, Dexterity 11, Constitution 18, Intelligence 8, Wisdom 13, Charisma 18. Uh, so I, uh, I got very good rolls, um, and I mean, I kept going until I got very good rolls. Um, ended up with, uh, you know, quite a few quote-unquote dump stats. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, to a certain extent, it's like, if you're going to give unlimited roll re-rolls, uh, there's almost no major difference between uh, uh, just letting you modify the stats anyway, so, eh, whatever. Uh, I've got Crow, uh, he's a ranger using the archer kit, uh, neutral good, strength 1896, dexterity 18, constitution 18, wisdom 8, I mean, uh, intelligence 8, Wisdom 16, and Charisma 8. And we've got Islandwee, Fighter Mage Thief, Neutral Good, uh, Strength 1896, uh, same strength as uh, Crow, uh, incidentally, Dexterity 18, Constitution 18, Intelligence 18, Wisdom 8, and Charisma 8. Uh, she actually ended up with a slightly uh, better stat line than uh, uh, Crow did. Uh, we've got uh, um, Elmandretta, Priest of Helm, Lawful Good, Strength 18, Dexterity 18, Constitution 16, Intelligence 8, Wisdom 18, Charisma 11. We've got uh, Moon Shadow, Bard, Neutral Good, Strength 17, Dexterity 18, Constitution 16, Intelligence 16, Wisdom 8, Charisma 18. And... Finally, we've got uh, Elohim, Wild Mage, Neutral Good. We've got Strength 10, Dexterity 19, Constitution 16, Intelligence 18, Wisdom 8, Charisma 16. So let's go ahead and uh, play. The tale begins here, in the quiet fishing village of Eastvale, one of the so-called Ten Towns of Icewind Dale. The tiny community is hardly a town, but rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores of Lac Dinashir. Here, within a dimly lit tavern, a group of travelers sit huddled around a table. Oh, hey, that's us! Tales ...and making grand plans for the future, completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. Isn't that always the case? In town, eh? Well met, stranger. The name uh, is Rothgar. New faces. Hillsfar. But now, after years of traveling up, down, and under Faerun, I am content to call this town my home. Who so, you be? were you a uh, Red Plume? Did you uh, happen to know Priam? Uh, you can say, Greetings, Rothgar. My name is Ald. Or, uh, who I am is none of your concern. No, no, no. It would be nice. He is a paladin, after all. Well, then, welcome to East Haven. Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. While you're in my town, you'd do well to be on your best behavior. You're not my mother! These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. Oh, darn. Oh, fine, be that, that way. Said, I'll let you get back to your cups. I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. If you say so. Uh, and if you're in need of lodging, I would recommend talking to Quimby over at the Snowdrift Inn over on the east side of town. Of the enchanting gourmet f uh, fame? Nah, probably not. Equipment and supplies can be purchased next door at Pomob's Emporium. Uh, Pomob's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite. Should be better off well equipped and short. What the hell is a Kalashite doing all the way up here? Prepared travelers don't last long in these parts. The hell did he get like exiled from every nation along the coast? Jeez. That's He has got to be incredibly uncomfortable too. Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings, come by and see me at my house. It's just a couple doors west of here. There's some business I would discuss with you. Farewell. Ooh. Our first inkling of a quest. All right, farewell. Bye bye. Let's bring that up a little bit. So we start out with basically nothing. Might as well equip 
our staves just so that we have something to equip. Start out with 520 gold. Probably won't be able to sell these. Uh, so these are our characters. Um, Ready. Let's see. Character sheet. Um, she is an... Actually, she's she's an elf? She shouldn't be able to be a wild mage then. But whatever. Um, hey, if they're going to let me do it, I'm going to do it. Uh, let's see. Moonshadow is a half-elf. Uh, Elmandretta is a human. Uh, Island Wee is a half-elf. Crow is a half-elf, and Ald is a human. So that is uh, that is our party for now. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, Townsperson. Hildreth Highhammer. Townsperson. Townsperson. And Townsperson. Well, oh, and we've got Townsperson. Let's talk to them. Haven't seen you in town before. You come from the south? Uh, yes, I wanted to ask you some things about East Haven. Of course, I'm a visitor to this town, and there are things I would know. I must take my leave. Now, uh, let's, let's go with this first one. East Haven, lived here quite a span, I have. Things have been getting worse of late, though. Do you mean the weather? Aye, the weather's been going from bad to worse. Never seen it get so cold this early in the year, and there's no sign of it letting up. So it's kind of the opposite of the real world. With all this snow, ta the passes to the south have been getting... Uh, are going to get snowed in early. Very well, I want to ask you some other things about East Haven. East Haven? Oh, that's the same thing. Uh, worse, how? Well, there's been sighting of some goblins and such in the pass, if you can believe that. They usually hole up in the spine of the world and kill each other. Some fool claimed he even saw some orcs outside of town, but I'll wait until he sobers up before giving that tale any weight. Um, I've heard some talk of goblins and orcs. Not only that, but there's been sighting... There's been sighting of a wolf on the outskirts of town, too. Oh, come on, there... There have got to be lots of wolves around. We've been keeping an eye out for it, but it seems to be coming around just for a whiff of the fishbone carvings in Absol's workshop. Damn thing must be starving to risk showing itself around humans, though. <laughs> we can keep asking him the... You know, it's like... Ask him about one thing, and then he uh, get, gets back. So I heard talk about uh, all of these things. Well, yes, you've heard it from me. Well, there's that and more. One of the boys was out playing, and he swore that he saw a footprint in the snow as large as a man. Assuming he's not telling tales. That would mean giants. But there hasn't been a giant seen in the past since, well, damn near since, I, since as long as I can remember. I'm worried that I'm worried the goblin and orc sightings are tied into the problems we've been having with the caravans of late. Some of them have gone missing, but mostly only the ones coming from the south. At first, we thought the snows must be burying them, but with goblinoids about, it's more likely they're the ones that buried the caravans. Between the weather and the missing caravans, people seem to be handling the troubles pretty well. Not all of them. Jonan, one of the steadiest fellows I know, has been going around with some tune he keeps humming, and looks like he hasn't been getting much sleep. Troubles must be hitting him harder than we thought. He's humming a tune? Aye, just keeps humming the damn thing over and over. Boy's gonna get an oar in his chops if he keeps it up. Any other monster sightings recently? Well, I don't know how much weight this carries, but one of the girls says she saw some blue-skinned figure down by the shore. She said whoever it was was singing some song. Probably just her imaginings. Most of the folks around here are decent folks, but I'd stay away from old Jed. He lives in a little shack near the shore of the lake. Grisella in the winters at the winter's cradle cut him off, so that drunk fool try anything uh, fool uh, so that drunk fool try and get you to spot him a tankard. Watch your purse, all right? Uh, let's see. Do you know where I can find Rothgar's house? Rothgar's house is in the center northern part of town. It's the one with the gaps and the overhang. Rothgar swears he's going to fix it, but I'll believe that when I see it. He's always running around, trying to take care of everyone else. Why are you going to see him, anyway? Planning to join his expedition? Uh, expedition? Yeah, word is Rothgar's been so rattled that by that messenger from Kuldahar that collapsing dead at the front door of the Temple of Tempest. 
that he wants to put together a band to see what's going on down south. What did the messenger say? Damned if I know. Only Everard over at the temple in Hrothgar would know for sure, I suppose. Still, if it's enough to get the two of them riled up, can't be good. I mean, maybe I'll ask him about it. In the meantime, I wanted to ask you some other things about East Haven. Uh, do, do, do. Can you tell me a little about the town? Well, since you're new in town, you'll probably want to get a room at the Snowdrift Inn. It's on the eastern side of town. The innkeeper Quimby. He's a right enough sort. He should have plenty of rooms available, but he just got an elf guest from the south, so at least one room is taken. Aside from Quimby's Inn, there's Pomob's Emporium in the northeast part of town. He can be a right ass, Pomar can. So I hope you don't need to buy anything from that copper-clenching jackal. Wish that damn Kalashite had stayed down south with the rest of his kind. Can you tell me any more about the town? Well, there's the Temple of Tempest, that huge blue glass structure to the northwest, run by Everard. Her here tell, Everard's the one that who saw that messenger from Koldahar, if you can if you can believe it. Fellow died right on his doorstep. Alright, I think we're done talking to this guy now. So we've got Rosella here, let's talk to her. Do 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 walk around everyone. Apparently you gotta walk all the way around the bar, too. It's interesting. Hello there, dearie. Welcome to the Winter's Cradle Tavern. My name's Grisella. I own and operate this fine establishment. What can I get for you? Uh, I have some questions for you. Sorry, dearie. I haven't the time to chit-chat with you. I have a tavern to run, you know. If you're looking to catch up on local gossip, I suggest you buy around or mingle with some of the other patrons. Alright, I'll leave you to your work. Well, shucks. Probably turn on the. Uh, let me see if I can actually. Uh, character sounds. Let's do this for uh, a little while, at least until we get tired of their uh, voices. I'm here. I'm here. Give the word. Give the word. Hmm. All right. I've seemed to have chosen the same voice. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, you know what? I bet it's because I didn't. Uh, I think I know. All right, well, I'll probably, uh, at, at the end of this episode, I'll probably just reload it all and uh, uh, re-import, re-select uh, um, characters and, and re-choose the voices. I'm pretty sure I chose different voices for them all back when I was creating them, but I'm, I'm thinking that it didn't uh, auto, you know, it didn't fix it up uh, or keep the, the selections or something. Got it. Well, Matt, why, you seem to me like, a fresh new vein of ore, all untried and untested. I be Hildreth, should you wish to know. A vein of ore? What do you mean? What I'm saying is that you look like you look a little new at this adventuring thing. No offense intended. We all have to start somewheres. If you be looking for tips, I even have some news that might prove interesting to you. Oh, I see. What news do you have? I'm not all eyes and ears here. Mostly I've been keeping to my cups to keep the chill away. But I have heard that a local sword named Hrothgar is putting together some sort of expedition. Sounds like it might be fun. I'll be going along myself. Oh, what do you know about the expedition? The folks around here say that Hrothgar be a valiant man, but not the type to go dashing off to his death. They say, th they say he'd be an excellent leader. We're headed up to the mountains to investigate some sort of disturbance up there. You'd best be talking to Hrothgar himself to hear the full story. Well, if you're going, it must be a good trip. You seem like a seasoned adventurer. Farewell for now. Uh, that's just a townsperson. Were there no other? Nope, not really. Okay. Let's go ahead and leave. And, uh... Take a look around town. Let's poke him with a stick. Don't, don't poke the squirrel with a stick. What are you kids doing? Jeffy, you come from far away, don't you? All right. Jill Sandra, someday I'm gonna grow up to be an adventurer. Oh, don't do it, kid. It's not worth it. I'm a great fisherman. You don't say. Someday I'm gonna grow up to be an adventurer. Good for you, kids. Is this just a townsperson? That is just a townsperson. All right, let's go in here. You guys having fun with that, uh... 
That squirrel there. Uh, Gaspar. Oh, Gaspar Reclamations? Probably not. Well met, stranger. The name's Gaspar. Gaspar the Fishmonger. Okay, definitely not Gaspar of Gaspar Reclamations. What can I do for you this fine day? Uh, Fishmonger? This doesn't look like much of a fish shop. That's because it isn't, my friend. This is my home. I may be a fishmonger, but that doesn't mean I hawk fish like some street vendor. I deal in large quantities of dried knucklehead and scrimshaw, the bulk of which I keep stored in my warehouse down at the shore. Dried what? Knucklehead trout! It's a rare fish found only in the lakes of the Ten Towns. Their bones are used to produce valuable scrimshaw. You must make a decent amount of coin selling these fish. It's an honest living. I make most of my profit from trade, though. As a matter of fact, I'm an I have an important transaction in the works as we speak. What sort of transaction? The uh, town's food stores are running dangerously low. My warehouse foreman, Churin, tells me that there may not there may not be enough food to last through the coming winter. I've arranged a trade with old Galloway at Cardinaval that will keep our stomachs full well into the next year. The caravan's due to arrive any day now. Well, best of luck to you. Farewell. We met with Gaspar the Fishmonger in East Haven. He told us of a trade he'd arranged with a merchant in Cardinaval. The caravan hasn't arrived yet, but it should be arriving any day now. It sounds like the town really needs the supplies the caravan is bringing. Done. You guys still poking at the squirrel? That's it's not very nice. Silly kids. All right. Well, we got something up here. Actually, uh, let's... Alright, since I don't have them set properly, uh, we'll go with that. For now. Well, that's Rothgar. I guess we can talk to him, find out what's going on. Well met, friend, and welcome to my home. Make yourselves comfortable, but try not to break anything. Damn it! Many of these curiosities that you see lying about have sentimental value. Sentimental value? You don't strike me as a sentimental type. Well, they're all remembrances of my adventuring days. Little trinkets and the like that I picked up here and there. More keepsakes than valuables, really. Leftovers from my days of fortune and glory. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, adventure days, so you were retired then? Uh, Semi-retired, actually. This region is still untamed and fraught with many dangers. I have had plenty of opportunities in the last few years to take up my sword and shield and do battle with those who threaten the safety of East Haven and its neighbors. Okay. In fact, I am planning such an expedition right now. That is what I wanted to speak to you about. Yeah, I was getting that impression. Uh, what sort of expedition? I received word from Kaldahar, our neighbors to the south, that evil forces are stirring nearby in the spine of the World Mountains. Okay. I am organizing and leading a party from East Haven south to Kaldahar Valley to investigate. You look to be capable enough. Despite being first course. level. What say you? Uh, what sort of evil forces are we talking about? I don't really know. The messenger wasn't too specific. I suppose if you want more details, you could ask old Everard over at the temple. But time's a-wasting. Uh, I do think I would want uh, some more details. We need to get this expedition moving before the snows seal off the pass to Kaldahar. So what's it going to be? Are you in or out? Uh, I hope this doesn't trigger me going right into it right away. Excellent. Sounds Glad exciting. Count us in. I plan to assemble the rest of the expedition and okay. set out for Kaldahar within a few days. Good. With storms brewing in the mountains, I'd rather we depart sooner. But there are matters that require my attention here about town. What sort of matters? Perhaps we could help. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe you can help. Pomop, the local shopkeeper, has recently expressed concern over the rapidly thinning stock of his store. He se does he sell food? Well, yes, he is the local shopkeeper. He's been complaining that the regular caravan from Cardinable is long overdue. That if they don't arrive soon, he's sure to be out of business. Hmm. That does not sound good. Now, normally I take Pomop's whining with a grain of salt, but with heavy snows on the way, it would be best to make sure that caravan makes it through. So, what is it you want me to do? I want you to find that caravan. Leave town by way of the South Bridge and scout the hills west of Loch Dinnershire, between East Haven and Caer Caravans always stick close to the shoreline this time of year. 
So I'm getting the impression that this is a, a way to get some experience before we start out on this uh, expedition of yours. Gotcha. Once you find it, see the caravan safely to East Haven. In the meantime, I'll assemble the rest of the expedition and make the final plans for our journey. Okay, I think I can do that. Return here as quickly as you can. We must make for Calderhart Pass while the weather is favorable. Good luck. Safe journey. Thank you. Rothgar asked us to find a missing caravan out of Care Dineval. The caravan was carrying valuable supplies intended for East Haven. Rothgar suggested that we take the south bridge out of town and search for the caravan in the hills along the shores of Lac Dinashir. We are to return to East Haven and to Hrothgar either with the caravan or with news of its mysterious fate. Curious about the stuff that he was talking about. Ooh. He does have some stuff. Hmm. Well, I have a feeling that uh, we're much too low level to do much about it right now. Let's see if we can find the shop. This does not appear to be the shop. There is nothing that we could uh, steal here. I actually did not think about uh, stealing anything from that uh, the fishmonger's house. Uh, <clears throat> uh, taxing, taxing. That's that's what I mean. Yes, uh, avatar tax, that sort of thing. Got a townsperson here. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's see. That's a quick save. All right. Do -do 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 -do. Just a spear. All right. We don't really care about that. You know what? We've done a quick save. Let's uh, let's go back and see what uh, uh, Rothgar has. I'm sure he won't mind. Oh, you must gather your party before venturing forth, huh? Got it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Don't mind us. Oh, it's locked. It's locked. What do you want? Hide and shadows failed. Of course Take it did. Alright, well, where is my, uh... I guess that's just thieving there. Lockpick succeeded! Wow. He doesn't seem to be getting angry. A scroll. Well... We got a free bow out of this. He he doesn't seem to have minded. I'm good with that. I'll have to go back and redo that. Now let's see what this uh, scroll is. If you are reading this note, then obviously you are a thief come to rob me of my hard-won riches. Sorry to disappoint me disappoint you. Did you really think I would keep my valuables in such an obvious and unguarded place? Consider this note a warning. I do not care much for those who would poke their nose where it doesn't belong, and anyone caught practicing thievery in the town of East Haven shall answer to me. Well, I'm glad that he didn't, uh, uh, actually, uh, catch me. Maybe I shouldn't actually do it. It's not really worthwhile. Didn't get... I mean, a, a bow... I can buy a bow. Akalia, huh? Hello, my name is Akalia. I'm an initiate here at the Temple of Tempest. I help Everard maintain the Temple Armory and perform rituals. Well, Medicalia, I am Ald. You're an initiate in the Temper and Faith, huh? I didn't realize that the Lord of Battles was so popular up here. Tempus is revealed, revered a great deal by the barbarian tribes up here. They call him Tempos. We immigrants see a lot of conflict and violence in these parts, and people want to make sense of it all. Barbarian tribes? How do they feel about the Ten Towns being here? It changes from season to season, from year to year, like all things. They are mistrustful of us immigrants and often view our settlements here as an intrusion on their land. Sometimes they trade with us, sometimes they war with us. Sounds like a love-hate relationship. At least they don't try to kill you all the time. It is just part of our daily routine. 
We know that the barbarians are just a few peaks away, and we immigrants understand the danger from that that they bring into our lives. You say we immigrants. Where are you from? I am originally from Neverwinter. I came here to aid Battle Lord Everard when the former war priest Renfield was killed in a battle against the barbarians near Bryn Shander. Ouch! I guess those barbarians really don't like the immigrants too much. And that gets back to that exact same thing. Bah! Some civilized nation should come up here and smash the life out of those impudent barbarians. How do they expect progress to be made? By sitting on the tundra and beating on a stupid drum? Uh, or, we could say, and well they should. You people treat this land like garbage. Why, this very temple is an affront to the pristine beauty of the spine of the world. That is like the druid response. This seems like a dangerous place to live. I must be going now. Farewell. Are you Everard? You are indeed. Let's go talk to you. Oh, you know, to steal, to, I mean, uh, to talk to you. I am Ald. Are you the high priest of this temple? I am Everard. Everard of Tempus, battle priest of the Lord of Battles. What brings you here? Well, you see, there's this guy uh, living on this planet called Earth, and he just had this urge to play a game. Thus, I am here. Um, I come to show respect to your god and his worshippers, Everard. Still, there is not much battle to be had here in East Haven, I hope. War is but one of Tempest's aspects. Warriors, true warriors, worship him as well. Well, you carry, uh, uh, you carry the scars of war, Everard. Were you wounded in battle? These eyes have seen battle, yes. And my skin bears the mark of swords and axes. That was long ago. Now my place is here. Why would you leave battle behind? Order of the Broken Blade. My duty is to watch this place. You're sounding almost helm like there. Order of the Broken Blade? They guard areas sacred to Tempest, correct? Yes. We are. were. warriors. Wounded in battle, our injuries now keep us far from the front lines. Still, we are fit to guard holy sites to our Lord. This is a holy site? It is sacred to Tempest, yes. It marks the field where the barbarian Jared gave up his life ages ago. He lies encased in stone beneath this temple. Oh, are we going to get a uh, summary of the uh, introduction? Jared was a shaman who lived long ago. He brought unity to the northern tribes and led them to victory against the army of Arakan at the cost of his life. Now, I'm not saying this never happened, and I am definitely not an expert on the uh, on Icewind Dale area itself, but I don't remember reading anything about this in any of my uh, uh, Forgotten Realms material. Like I said, doesn't necessarily mean that it didn't happen. How did he die? Once Arakan saw his army routed by Jared and the Northern Tribes, he sought to bring the Hells to his aid. Arakan opened a gate to the Lower Plains. Ah, so it was just the hells. Okay. Uh, he brought demons to the... No, no, all, come on, Ald. You should know this. The hells would be devils. The abyss would be demons. Come on. Beta Zoo and Tanari are not the same thing. He brought demons to the battlefield? The northern tribes would have been destroyed. I do not believe that. Jared did. It is said that Tempest himself appeared to Jared upon the battlefield, and Jared took that as a sign. Uh, assigned to do what? Jared believed Tempest was calling him to sacrifice himself for his people to ensure victory. And so he cast his body into the portal, his blood fusing it to stone. It lies entombed beneath the temple to this day. You don't sound like you agree with Jared's choice. Jared had no need to sacrifice himself. Tempest's appearance was a test of faith, proof Jared's people had already won the field that day. Jared failed his god and died a coward's death. Maybe he just wanted to avoid going to uh, prison after uh, so many years of being the spokesman for a uh, um, sandwich shop. But Tempest is known to appear to warriors who can dictate the outcome of a battle. So perhaps Jared's death was not in the... ...dies for Tempest with a blade in one's hand, not by martyring oneself within the embrace of infernal magics. Jared's duty was to stand with his comrades, not cast himself to his death when the field was already theirs. You sound a little, uh, zealous here. 
His sacrifice may have prevented other deaths, Everard. Sacrifice? Let me say this of sacrifice, young one. Then we shall speak of this no more. Sacrifice is a death that has meaning. When it is in vain, it is not sacrifice. It is a waste. That is the lesson of Jared Stone. Yeah, whatever you say, crazy buddy. Uh, and the stone is buried beneath the temple. A great stone disc that holds Jared's corpse for eternity. And so I watch and guard it in Tempest's name. I see. I had some other questions I wish to ask you. You are free to ask, Traveler. I promise no answers. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. do you know anything about the expedition that Hrothgar is putting together? I have heard of it, yes. A messenger from Kaldahar visited the temple not long ago. And it has spurred Rothgar to see what is happening in the north. A messenger? Yes. A man from Kaldahar found his way to our door, and he was dead by morning. He claimed he was a messenger from the Archdruid of Kaldahar. What did he want? The man spoke of disturbances in Kaldahar. His wounds prevented me from making any sense of his words. Perhaps Rothgar understood more than I, for he's preparing an expedition. Are you going on this expedition? Why did you not try... Well, okay. Uh, caveat that I haven't verified whether they can cast a spell or not. But why did you not try casting Speak with Dead? Are you going on this expedition? For my place is here. Were I invited, I would still not go. My injuries would only slow the expedition. I see. I had some other questions I wish to ask you. To ask, traveler. I promise no answers. I heard there was a messenger who came to the temple from Kaldahar... I hope this is not uh, uh, the same thing. Yes, a man from Kaldahar found his way to our door. Okay, no, that's the same thing. Ask, What's that so glyph-covered door beneath the statue? The door leads beneath the temple to the site of Jared's stone. It was sealed with glyphs of Tempest to prevent entry long ago. I see. I had some other questions you I wish to ask you. Ask, traveler. I promise no answers. Uh, never mind. I have intruded. Farewell. Uh, let's see, anything around here? Hmm. This is a large shield with a symbol of a white sword emblazoned upon its surface. Numerous dents and scratches indicate that the shield has seen many battles. The inscription upon its stand reads, The Shield of Ihonan, a veteran of many battles against the Uthgart barbarians. Ihonan was slain whilst battling a white dragon matriarch upon the waves of Loch Dinashir. His body and his blade were never recovered. Ooh! Time to go swimming, guys! Maybe that wouldn't be a, bad, a good idea. This glyph-warded door set into the floor appears to lead down into a chamber beneath the temple. There doesn't appear to be a way to open it. Okay, well, um, I think that's about all we can really do in the temple. Excuse me. It doesn't seem like uh, he really knows all that much about uh, what may be going on in Kaldahar, uh, but we do have a, um, can we access the map? Yes, we can. Alright, so we've got Hrothgar's house, Gaspar the Fishmonger, Old Jed's house, uh, Temple of Tempest. We don't know where the shop is yet. Um, there is a sign there and a sign there. Um, let's actually, uh, see if we can figure out which one is the shop. Uh, because then I'll I'll buy stuff uh, um, off screen when I go redo the uh, uh, voices. I guess that's Jonan. Winter's Cradle Tavern. Oh, I guess it didn't actually like load up the uh, outside of it. Uh, Pomab's Emporium. Okay, so this is the uh, the shop. Let's go see what he says before we end the episode. Hello? What is this? More barbarians come to my shop, no doubt with nothing to barter with but more wolf pelts and polished stones. Very well, let us get this over with. What do you want? Barbarians? I think you're mistaken, friend. Am I now? I do not think so. All of your n you northerners are the same to me, smelly and barbaric. 
Northerners, I take it you are not from around here. <laughs> I am Pomab Akazmir, royal diplomatic envoy of Kalimshan and appointed overseer of the northern caravan routes. Sure, and I'm the king of Mithril Hall. Oh, I see. Your appearance as a lowly shopkeeper is just a clever disguise to throw off any would-be assassins. Am I right? Your poor attempt at sarcasm is an obvious sign of your lowly birth. I'll have you know that I am the third cousin of to the Pasha himself, not to mention a royal courtier in good standing. If you weren't such good standing in Kalimshan, then what, are you, what in the nine hells are you doing all the way up here in Icewind Dale? The Pasha, uh asked me to accept this post of Overseer of the Northern Caravan Routes, as a personal favor. I see. Likely this post is not but a convenient excuse for the Pasha to get rid of a royal pain in his arse. Oh, you mean you were banished? I would not expect someone of your station to understand such matters. Now, if you do not mind, buy something or leave. Fine, what do you have for sale? All right, so uh, we can get uh, chain, uh, we can get uh, mail armor for uh, 95, uh, splint armor for 101, hide for 8, studded leather for 25, leather for 8, helmet for 1. Uh, I've got a 6GP helmet, two 6GP helmets. I don't know if they do anything better. Um... There really does not appear to be anything uh, special about them, other than the fact that they look different. So I've got some shields, I've got uh, Bastard Sword, Long Sword, Short Sword, Two-Handed Sword, Scimitar. Uh, he actually has a katana. Why the hell does he have a katana? That's just ridiculous. Um, let's see. Various other weaponry. Um, definitely be buying some darts. Uh, composite longbow for 127 uh, gold. That's uh, might be worthwhile. Uh, longbow, shortbow. Yeah, I mean, 127 versus 95 might be worth spending the extra cash. Uh, we only have 520. Well, does everyone have 520, or is this total? I I suspect that's total. Uh, we've got some slings, bottle of wine, gem bag, scroll case, potion bag. I want those, uh, but that's about it. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's nothing fantastic. He doesn't have any magical items that we can get later, uh, which does kind of make me suspect that we will not be coming back here for at least for quite a while. Um, but I will be buying stuff uh, off camera. I'm not sure how many of these uh, items can hold. But I'll probably get one of each, just to, you know, have them. Um, I think the uh, arrows might be able to stack more than 40 at a time, but uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, that's it for this episode. Uh, in the next one, I will have purchased a bunch of stuff. I will have fixed our voices, and everything will be ready to continue. See you next time, everyone.